Hi guys, today I want to share with you five tips to improve your Sony ZV-E10. The first tip is actually a solution to a very particular problem. I don't know if you guys have ever encountered this, but sometimes when I take photos at night, under certain artificial light sources, there would be black bars on the photo, like this one. It happens usually because of the fluorescent light, and the black bars are the pixels that are recorded when the lights are off for a fraction of a second. The way to solve this problem is very simple. Just lower your shutter speed, and the black bars will disappear. The second tip is to set your maximum and minimum ISO. This is helpful when you use auto ISO. The reason why you should do this is that if you don't, the camera will choose the ISO value that is most suitable in order to use most appropriate shutter speed, regardless of the noise it creates. To set your maximum and minimum ISO, just press Fn and go to ISO, choose ISO Auto. Press the right side of the control wheel and set the values for maximum ISO and minimum ISO. I would recommend setting the minimum to 125 and the maximum to 3200 because the camera sensor isn't very big. So if you set it to more than 3200, there will be noticeable noises. The third setting is stabilization. If it bothers you that this camera doesn't have in-body stabilization, then I think this tip would be helpful to you. Go to tab 2, choose steady shot. It's on page 3 of 9. If your lens has in-body stabilization, then you can choose from active, standard, and off. And if your lens doesn't have stabilization, then you can only choose from off and active. When you choose active, there will be a crop to your video, but the stabilization effect is the strongest. It's almost as if you are using a gimbal. Actually, I have already made a video about Sony ZV-E10 stabilization tutorial and test, so if you want to know more details, I put a link up there. The next setting is transition speed. I found that few people talked about this on YouTube, but it's actually a very simple and helpful setting for shooting videos. It's in tab 2, page 2 of 9. There are 7 steps you can choose from. 1 is the slowest and 7 is the fastest. Now I'm going to show you speed 1, speed 4, and speed 7. The difference between 1 and 7 is pretty obvious. I would suggest that you choose a slower speed, probably between 1 and 4, because if the speed is too fast, you can really notice the sudden jump from one focal point to another, and it just looks very unnatural. The final tip for you today is clear image zoom. Whether you are using a zoom lens or a prime lens, clear image zoom can give you extra zoom range. It's in tab 2, page 6 of 9. Here you have three options, optical zoom, clear image zoom, and digital zoom. I wouldn't suggest digital zoom because the quality will drop a lot. And clear image zoom allows the zoom range to exceed the optical zoom and there won't be much quality loss. 
but keep in mind that if you want to use clear image zoom, it only supports JPEG file. So you will have to go to tab one, page one, and set your file format to JPEG only. Now I'm going to show you how much more you can zoom in with clear image zoom. I'm using Sony 18 to 105 millimeters f4 lens. So it's already a zoom lens, but it works the same way with prime lens. This is what looks like at 18 millimeters end, and it is now 105 millimeters. And now I'm using clear image zoom to zoom even further. The problem of clear image zoom is that you cannot touch your screen to set the focal point like you normally do. It will just focus whatever in the center of the frame. So keep this in mind when using this function. So let me recap what we have covered today. First tip, lower your shutter speed to avoid black bars. Second tip, set maximum and minimum ISO to avoid noise. Third tip, use steady shot for stabilization. Fourth tip, set a lower transition speed for smoother transition. And final tip, use clear image zoom for extra zoom range. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.